Drive Time with Dave. I'm Dave, I'll be your driver. Got a late start today. I've been participating in the Rockstar Flippers 24 hour stream. It's been very exciting. But it's time for me to, you know, get down to get down to business messing around. It's nice that I have the freedom just to mess around and it's great. It's great. Love messing around, it's great. Not working. Don't love how fat my face looks when the sun hits it though. That part really is not so great. So today, uh, I have not had, I, I've had a lot of comments and messages. So let me just say thank you to everybody for all those great, great comments and messages. Um, I actually do not have my notepad with me because uh, you know I've been the designated driver for the uh, Rockstar Flipper for the last, um, what seems like, I don't know, eight, eight straight hours. Um, so some of the things that we talked about were, um, you know, bulk sourcing, buying from Goodwill. That's always such a big topic of conversation. You can, you can make deals and buy from Goodwill, right? So, you know, if, you, if you're going to get into used clothes, um, what I like to talk about is when you get, when you get to the next step, when you go beyond you, and you're ready to hire someone what that looks like what that feels like what you can expect there's what you expect and then there's reality what I expect is with someone listing full-time for me eight hours a day all I want them to do is list I'll take the pictures I'll do the sourcing I do my accounting I expect that I'm gonna get 200 to 250 listings a week up at the end of 30 days when you have 1,000 listings up, depending upon your products, let's say an average sell-through rate of those products are 2 to 3%, you know you're going to be selling minimum of about 20 items a day. Well, now depending upon the profit of those items, and this is what you have to know before you go and hire someone, right? So I like to operate at about $10 profit after everything per item. So I know if I sell 20 items, I'm doing $200 a day times 30 days on average. I know I'm going to make $6,000, right? My person, I'm going to hire and pay them $10 an hour. Some people want to pay people piecework, like a dollar a listing or 75 cent a listing. Um, I may have to have you have someone do more than just set and list, but let's just say I think that's going to be the primary function. But $10 an hour, $400 a week. So you're looking at um, $1,600 a month, $6,000 return, right? Off of their listing. I'm taking pictures, I'm doing the accounting, I'm doing the sourcing. Well, if I freed up that much time, now I can do double the sourcing, which means I'll be doing double the items. Now, after a few months of bringing in that extra money, see, or the downside, you're you were already making that, but now you're breaking off a piece of the, the work and giving it to someone, so you actually didn't make more. So you're going to look at what it's going to take to hire a second lister. And then with the second lister, now everything changes. $3,200 a month, $12,000 a month. It's a much, much different number, bigger number. Even after you pay out everybody and everything, you're making nine thousand dollars. A third lister, each lister is going to net you forty four hundred dollars. So each lister you hire at ten dollars an hour, you're gonna make forty four hundred dollars. So that's where the math comes from about three to four times what you're what you're spending to get in return based on freeing up your time return on your investment in the person so then at that point you've got extra money more time do more sourcing it's your goal that it's just my goal it may not be your goal but that's that's my goal I want to get to a point where through my three listers effort, I can make 9,000, 10,000, whatever thousand. Three times, 
$12,000, $13,000 a month. That gives me extra money to buy more inventory. Those listers can also do the shipping every morning, right? So for the one hour, three people psh, gets all the shipping together, right? And then they start listing. That's what you're looking at. Then your function is sourcing and accounting. You get to a point where you've had a, a little bit of extra money for six months. You hire a fourth listing person. And at that point, you'll just simply go and find yourself a bookkeeper that can do the day-to-day. -day. You want to get somebody that can start doing payroll. Now that function is a straight expense, but you can get somebody to come in that's you know, got 10 years of bookkeeping experience for five or $600 a week. Another $2,400 goes out the door, but you got four people that you're making $4,000 a month each on 16,000 coming in, right? You take out a thousand dollars a month for building, a couple hundred dollars for electricity. You take out a twenty-four hundred dollar a month bookkeeper. It's pretty good. Those are those are good numbers. I mean, those there's no there's no doubt about it. Then your function is sourcing and overseeing your listers and your bookkeeper. And your your other function is still the one of the most important. That's customer service. It's difficult to let go of that because your employees may not answer customer questions like you will. So you have to groom and work with someone because that, that you know, to me, one of the greatest roles is the customer service. I have to make my customer happy. If my customer's not happy, it will cause me the, the ripple effect. It turns into a typhoon. It's, it's one person, because one person's negative feedback I figured out one time it's about 50 to 1. For each one person that is not happy with my product, I have to make 50 more sales and get 50 positive feedback to counteract the damage that one negative does. And you know you end up to get like 50 positive feedback. I, I think I get 10% feedback. So that means I actually have to sell like 500 items just to get 50 people to give me a positive feedback. Now, these, this is just my experience. You may have different, different luck based on your products. There's, there's a lot of moving parts to the differences in what I say and the results that you may achieve. But one thing that we do know, you will achieve results, you will make money, and that's the point of what we're doing. We start off wanting to make extra money and then extra money suddenly turns into, uh, wow, I'm making as much as I would on my job. Now, the drive to quit your full-time job and become a reseller full-time, what, what you're gonna do, trading one for the other, you're not gonna leave yourself extra money to grow your inventory. You have to have inventory capital. Right now, that extra money is allowing you to buy extra and sell more and make a little bit more money. So you're gonna have to have the capital to invest at that, that moment. And then, you gotta believe in yourself. I believe in you. I believe you can do it. I did it, you can do it. So, when you're ready to make that step, this gives you an insight into the math, what you can expect to make as you start growing, hiring an employee, hiring multiple employees, getting a building. Closed sourcing is the easiest. It is the most time consuming inventory to handle for the fact that you have to take extra pictures and extra time to write descriptions based on clothes. Where some products, it, it, it's already there, the you know whether it depends on how how used it is you know when you're when you're talking about like a uh, a phone or an iPod or an iPad use the scratches this and that I mean some of this stuff I think is it's just it's different in the amount of time that can be spent on listing and then the two different platforms when you get into doing nothing but electronics Amazon the way to go no doubt about it you can list stuff a hundred times faster on Amazon. You can sit down and put 
in one day we can get a thousand pieces of inventory listed on Amazon and in the same day you can get 40 things listed on eBay because their listing platform is incredibly slow and mundane and difficult and complex and Amazon's just a bloop scan it I want to sell it um, here's everybody else's pricing where do you want to be you put in the price put in your condition notes used use good use very good that's it you can stick an extra note in there you know what I think something boom post it boom done in in a minute flat those are the things that make reselling more difficult as people look at the amount of time it takes to create listings on the platforms you know, and then we know and I've talked about it you know 50 times before when you when you want to get beyond the eBay and the Amazon and how you have to go out and get on multi-channel support when you've got four or five people listing well that's that's the point where you got to go multi-channel support get software so you can grow to the next step and then and then everything becomes capital intensive to be able to buy as much inventory as possible get it all listed then your business can either go to you know straight volume which you know is a very strong place to end up but it just takes a lot of money and then it takes a um, investment in employees because you're gonna you're gonna have a it's that's that's the hard part is once you've got a bunch of but you know what on the good side is um, the peace of mind you've got where you're not doing it all yourself because you won't be you have a team of people working for you makes things a lot easier and you know in the morning if you know what I wake up and if, if I don't I don't feel good I don't I don't want to be there at 8 o'clock I don't have to be there at 8 o'clock your, your employees will be there. They will be listing when you're not there. You can go out sourcing, and you don't have to worry about listing not getting done. Those are the benefits. And that's why I, I continuously talk about growth, scaling, what it's going to take. These are the simple steps that it really takes. It is exactly as easy as it. How easy it is. You're buying material right now. You've got two or 300 pieces at home. Do you have the capital to invest? That's, that's it. Once you've got the capital, you're going to hire somebody, $10 an hour. You know what? People come to your house to work. There's People need a job. You'll set up a bedroom, a space, a space in the kitchen. Whatever needs to be done to get it going. And that's what you're going to do. You're going to get it going. I believe you can get it going. I got it going. I did it. I can make a complete series of videos out of how I worked out of my house for six years because I was afraid to take that step. I, I didn't have me or someone like me pushing. Hey, come on. It's Listen, you're, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I'm Dave. This is Drive Time. I'll see you soon.